Did you know we can create depth maps in Blender? Now, depth maps are really useful for things like subsurface scattering, as without it, things just look like a weird candle. So tell us, Jim, how does this work? Well, for this, we're going to use the ambient occlusion node. Now, to make this all work, we need this inside function. We we'll also enable only local, so it only uses this object to calculate the AO. Now, lastly, we have this distance value to adjust the range. Now, to completely convert this into a depth map, we just need to invert the color, and there you go. Now, after tweaking the distance a bit more, we can now bake this onto a image texture. Now, for a cleaner bake, let's jump onto cycles. Now, in the bake section, let's set the bake type to emit, and let's then get ready to put on your oven mitts and start baking. Oh, I love the smell of baking in the morning. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Isn't that a face only a mother could love? Now, with this baked image, we can now drive the subsurface scattering effect, and we can also use a math node just to adjust the intensity. And would you look at that? We now got a way better effect for our subsurface scattering. Now, for more tips like this, check out our channel.